Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just continue. It looks like we're going to the Sanctum to meet up with Agnes and the Kaiser. I know why. Right? The Kaiser was like, I just wish I could say or, like, apologize to all my comrades one last time. Well, remember, we did all those side quests in the middle. We fought all of his minions, and we didn't kill him. So, I guess he'll get his chance here, right? But anyway, let's just go ahead and go into... Sanctum and see what happens here. The Templar himself is to carry out my sentence? I consider it an honor. Hmm. I am ready. To meet those who sacrificed themselves for your cause. This is what you truly wish? Then let it be done! Bella, Ku! Geist and Revenant! Minette! Jan and Nikolai! You... you live! Kaiser Oblivion. No. You are Denny Genealogia now. As you can see, your companions are well. And I have heard their tales. They shared with me the injustices they suffered, all at the hands of the Orthodoxy and the Crystal Guard. I do not deny the crimes of our past, but it is for that very reason that I must see that they are never repeated. Denny Geniolja, join me and help me build a world where your friends and those like them need never suffer again. I... I do not deserve... Grand Marshal! Your Holiness! I am... free? I trust that my blade has cut through your doubts as surely as it did your chains. The road to peace between the Orthodoxy and the Duchy was a long one. Bringing the Glance Empire into the fold will doubtless prove even more trying. But we have taken the first step today, and if we struggle along the way... We can learn from our failings, and muster the courage to try again. Really, second? Yes, until the day comes when we achieve all that we've strived for. Our coup de gravy. <laughs> I look forward to that day, you. Just wants his gravy, man. Just mm. wants his gravy. Also, that Alfred must be the best cook in all of Lux and Dark. Mm-hmm. From meat to fish to veggies to fruit, it's a smorgasbord of savory delights. Check out this fried chicken. Crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. It's cooked to pure perfection. Hmm. I'll say. Is there anything this guy can't make? He's like the Omega weapon of chefs! Uh, Idia, you've got sauce on your chin. And you've got chicken crumbs in your hair. <laughs> I see you two haven't lost your appetites. Sharing a dinner table like this brings back so many memories. It's been a while since you ate with us, hasn't it? Speaking of which... Aren't you supposed to be at that other big feast? Don't worry, I did the rounds. And Brave made sure I didn't miss any dignitaries. That sounds like father. Always a stickler for ceremony. I simply must find the recipes if I can't make you's favorite dishes. He might choose Alfred over you, huh? What? No! Come to think of it, Magnolia was asking for recipes last time, too. Is she studying for a second career as a culinarian? For the last time, Tiz. That's her sweet little blockhead. C'est délicieux, Monsieur Alfred. What is this delectable dish? That, madam is roast perch with radish. Yet another House Geniolja speciality. Mm-hmm. 
roast perch, you say? Your dedication is impressive, Magnolia. <gasps> your... your holiness! Just call me Agnes. You have helped to keep my friends safe, yes? Truly, you have my deepest gratitude. So tell me, what is it between you and... uh... you? What? Uh, oh, no, it's nothing. I mean, I like him. Uh, as a friend, of course, but... They tell me you come from the moon. I was wondering, when your work here is done, will you be returning home? <laughs> yes, I think so. I mean, I'm supposed to, eventually. It's where you lived your whole life, after all. You're probably dying to get back. Well, maybe not immediately. After all, my ship is still damaged, yes? Oh, well, you should talk to Lotus about that. I bet he could fix it up in a... flash. <laughs> Good idea, you. I'll talk to him as soon as I can. Uh... <sighs> Hopefully he won't fix it too quickly. Uh, right. <laughs> Dinner was every bit as delicious as I remembered, Alfred. Oh, Master Denny, to think this day would come while I still live. <laughs> What do you say we go for a bath, brother? Now that sounds most refreshing. I shall draw a bath for you at once. It's all right, Alfred. We have it covered. Wait till you see our ship, Denny. We should give them some time alone. They have a lot of catching up to do. Yes, of course. So do you two, though. Let's leave those two alone. Aye, aye. Is this robo arm? Good? Feels good, doesn't it? Yes. As if burdens that have long weighed on my heart are melting away. Well, I'm just glad we can be together again. Like the old days. I've missed talking with you, you know? My path was a long and winding one, but I too am happy to return. I'm sorry, Denny. You know. About your arm. You needn't apologize. The result was unfortunate, but your heart was true. In truth, I was always grateful for what you had done. I regretted that we were forced apart before I had the chance to tell you that. It's been far too long, but we are together once more. That's all that matters. I feel the same. Thank you, Denny. That means a lot to me. And what of you? Is there nothing you've left unsaid? Hmm? To Magnolia. She spoke of going back to the moon. How did that make you feel? Huh? What do my feelings have to do with it? The moon is her home. If she wants to return, it, it's not my place to talk her out of it. If she wants to return, I, for one, have my doubts. Huh? W w what makes you say that? Did, did you talk to her? No, it's merely intuition. Your feelings, however, are as clear as day. Muster your courage, you. Leave words unsaid. And I may regret it forever. You're right, brother. All right, I'm going in. <laughs> Here's wishing you gravy, little brother. What's that? The Holy Pillar! It can't be! You! Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is the men's pool! Oh, good gosh, sorry! I'm afraid we've got more important things to worry about. The Skyhold! It's headed for the Holy Pillar! Impossible! What is the meaning of this? I don't know. But we've got to get to the Skyhold, and fast! That is indeed true. <clears throat> uh, let's grab the helm. Ah, 
front of the ship. Alright, ooh. Hopefully my cursor hasn't been there the entire time. That'd be a little bit annoying. Alright, inside of... Oh, I probably should have saved, no? I had hoped never to return to this place. The Holy Pillar! But how? This doesn't make any sense. I am safe here. I assure you all. The Templar, Sir Jam, and Sir Nikolai are keeping close watch over me. We should get to the throne room. Whoever's behind this, we'll find him there. Agreed. Then let's go. We have to stop the Skyhold from entering the Holy Pillar at all costs. Right, let's go. Okay. Let's do it. So to the and we'll find whoever's responsible for the help. Party chat. A brief history of the Empire 3. Okay, okay, okay. Look, you. It's another page of the history text. These papers are all over the place. He must have done a lot of running around. In year 17, our Empire captured an Anchime foreigner, and with it, 108 prototype war machines developed by the Duchy. In ever in ever growing numbers, Lord Denny's cause won over officers and engineers who left the Duchy to join his underground army. As the world mourned a hero who lay to eternal slumber, Lord Denny's donned a mask and bid farewell to the man he was. Kaiser Oblivion was born, with Lady Anne at his side and nigh a thousand troops to his name. His battle for the world would begin. So around when Tiz fell asleep, the Kaiser was already mustering his forces. It says he recruited ducal officers, but I bet he found a lot of sympathizers from within the orthodoxy too. Look at this, you. Attack on the ball crater. From Lady Anne, the Kaiser learned of, a, of the Ball Crater, a location as yet unknown even at the highest levels of the church. Bolstered by three new officers, Minette, Amy, and Angelo, he gathered his forces at Custra Archipelago. The operation was a success. They freed the Ball Diamant from its prison and constructed a fortress around the creature. After the triumph, His Majesty distributed his hard-won horde of asterisks to the most loyal of his lieutenants. To Nikolai uh, Nikolanivkov, his compatriot from the earliest days, he bestowed the bishop and fencer asterisks. In year 19, after years of careful planning and preparation, the Kaiser put his grand plan into action. While his best friend, his best troops marched on Eisenberg, the Kaiser himself piloted the Skyhold to Eternia. The war, the war for the world has begun. Finally, it makes sense. The Kaiser attacked the crater, freed the ball, and built the Skyhold around it. So the crater held a secret horde of asterisks but if the orthodoxy had nothing to do with it then who i don't know the records in here the rest of the pages are burned away in any event we better keep moving okay everybody so let's go ahead and keep moving here looks like we have another party chat okay the lives of asterisk holders hey you look at this Hmm, the dreams of an officer of the Imperial Court as recorded in the most eloquent detail of said officer. If my diary ever starts sounding this pretentious, somebody slap me. April 29th, clear skies. Lord Jan and Lady Amy are fighting atop Heaven's Path. I've been ordered to fetch Lord Geist from the destruction spreads. Why Geist? Maybe he could undo whatever caused the argument in the first place. I wonder, could these dreams be this person's memories of previous timeline? May 4th, overcast. Lord Reverend is off duty and is talking at length with Lord Ku. Intrigued, I draw near, only to find that there is not the slightest hint of actual substance to their conversation. May 5th, overcast again. In an occurrence most rare, Lord Nikolai raises his voice in anger. Triple chocolate truffles. Must I tell you again that Her Holiness prefers her desserts not overly sweet? The targets of his wrath is Lord Angelo. It appears he has taken issue with the, uh, with the victuals prepared for the captive, captive Pope. Lord Jan and Lady Amy join the argument on opposite sides. The shouting is endless. I should summon Lord Geist. May 8th. Clear skies. Lord Geist and Lady Bella are arguing again. Lady Bella is furious at Lord Geist for the way he uses undo. Lady Bella uses Donna to make the argument two against one, further enraging Lord Geist. Yesterday it was chess. Today it's checkers. Are they friends or Im implacable adversaries? I remain confused. May 10th, blue skies. No one seems to be willing to address the problem of Lady Manette and Bismarck's daytime napping. They lie on the carpet, moving only to follow a patch of sunlight as it edges across the floor. 
this continues, they will be snoring at the foot of the Kaiser's throne by mid-afternoon. If Lady Anne were to catch them there, what a scolding they would suffer. All the officers, you're truly included, join together to move Bismarck. His mighty roar chills us to the bone. Who'd have thought that being an Imperial pencil pusher was such a tough job? Good thing they were all just dreams. Or were they? Okay. Moving on here. Let's go ahead and uh, hit up a quick save. Okay, don't care about that. Um, oh, let's also rest in the cottage, super everybody. And give it a quick save. Oh. I'm even... sorry, Magnolia, for not keeping my promise. Your promise? The, the one about defeating the ball together. Oh! I finally made peace with my brother, and I couldn't have done it without you. It was my turn to help you next, but then the Holy Pillar showed up and... <laughs> I'm just happy you remembered. Of course I remembered. How could I forget? Remember when you said you wanted to help us? That it was the only thing you wanted? Well, it was the same for me. All I wanted was to help you. But I haven't done a thing. You've been the one helping me this whole time. I just want to do something. Anything. For you. Thank you. You know you... I can't tell you how happy I am that you were the first person I met here on Luxendark. Same for me. I'm happy to have met you, too. We'll deal with the Holy Pillar. We... and settle the score with the ball. But when it's all over, are you going back to the moon? Huh? Someone's trying to reach you. Magnolia! This is Appleberry. Magnolia, do you read me? Just had a horrifying nightmare that the moon vanished from the sky. And me with it. Is everything in order down there? I'm worried about you, Magnolia. Promise me you'll return immediately when your mission is complete. Over and out. Okay. She should not make that promise. Or you could go to the moon with her. Either one. There's a matriarch doing here. What? The matriarch? From Florum? What happened here? Forgive me, my children. When we came to, we were... Uh, I swear, we didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. So very, 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 very sorry. <laughs> You're already here? Not bad. You beat my estimate by 14 minutes. You monster! You brainwashed these two and used them to bend the crystals to your bidding! Hmm. You're half right and half wrong. This girl made the crystals go crazy. I wasn't sure she had it in her, but she really pulled through for us. Way to go, Sylvie! But brainwash? You make it sound so... gauche. Uh, humans are so simple. Listen to their troubles, and next thing you know, they're like putty in your hand. But I don't need to tell you this. You've experienced it firsthand. And now, excuse me, I'm just gonna use the sky hole to bend the light of the pillar and send that meddling moon to the far side of space and time! Come on, Light! Come to Brochi! Denied! My... my brooch! Denny! Nice work! Now there's no way she can destroy the moon! How dare you! How dare you do that to me! Well, if it isn't the self-styled Kaiser, weren't you supposed to be dead? I helped you, you know. Gave my all for your stupid dream. And this is the thanks I get? By the by, how is the future? You know, 200 years from now? The future? I knew something wasn't right. <laughs> Not that I really cared where you went, of course. 
I just didn't want you messing with the past. What if you screwed up my timeline? So I took precautions. I flipped the compass backside front and upside down. You fiend. You made a mockery of all our hopes and dreams. Oh, sorry, can you hold that thought? Anna speaking. Hello? Is that you, Master? Yes. Yes. No way. I can use it? Are you sure you don't mind? Master? Just who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, that's for me to know. And you to be dead. Diamante, mightiest of the bow, do your master's bidding. Mightiest of the bow? Big ball. The skyhold, it's coming apart! Now I know. Now I know where the ball's been hiding. To think it had taken this form. That the skyhold itself was the ball. The very same ball that destroyed my home! <gasps> Magnolia, hang in there! Uh, I'm sorry. I know I, I have to be strong. But when I think of the battle we fought, all the death and destruction, every bone in my body trembles in fear. Je croyais être assez forte. I thought it was ready, but... but... You'll be fine, Magnolia. You're not alone. We're right here with you. That's right. This time it's our turn to stand by you. The four of us together can take any foe. Right, Magnolia? Right. With friends like you, I have nothing to fear. Today, I avenge my people and my home. This is my coup de gravy. Let's do this. Okay, so this ball is a little hard. I'll show you guys why in a minute. My friends stand beside me. This time, I will not fail. Idiot's strength gives me courage. Tis his kindness eases my pain. And use bright-eyed optimism. Lights my way and shows me the path ahead. With them at my side, I can defeat the worst of foes. That means you, Ball Diamante! Behold the true strength of a Ball Buster! Okay, so the thing about this ball is it actually... Um, absorbs damage five times, so if we hit it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and default with everyone except you. If I hit it, it'll actually reflect it. Okay, ooh. That doesn't hurt that badly. Okay. So now, it, it, I think it's five times, right? So, let's just hit it one more time. Let's hit it once with Tiz. Default with Adia Magnolia. I just need oh, sets three, four, five. I think that should be it, right? Its mirror should be gone now. So, we could use Meteor, Rain, Meteor, and then Rain. We can default with Tiz. And then, um, you know what? Let's just default and default and see what happens here. Yeah, now it's going to take the damage. Oh! Shot back at us? Okay. We're doing good so far. We did it! My people are avenged! Look, it's falling apart! So yeah, in this fight, Wait, I would recommend right. hitting that shield with just your weak mages first. Hit it with your weak mages and then... No matter how many times it takes, I will defeat you! So yeah, always just hit it with... Let's hit it, um, let's just hit it three times. We can default, default here. Oh! Its mirror is still down. Oh, well I can just kill it right now then. 
Oh, okay, that actually kind of hurt a little bit. Wait, is it mirrored up again? Let's just check. I don't I don't want to make a mistake here. Let's just check if it's mirror is up. Okay, it's mirror is up. Now it's gone again? Okay. Okay, I don't know what that was. Okay, so let's do this. Let's default here. Default here. And let's just go hit it. Free lunch. Oh, wait, this is a deal. Let's just hit it a bunch of times. Okay, and then here we can do free lunch along with some amp strikes. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so the first one reflected, but the rest should be able to hit here, so I think we'll be fine. We'll definitely, we should probably heal in a minute. But, ooh, it hits a multitask too. Those are always fun when they hit. So this is the ball that destroyed the moon, huh? Not a crazy scary one. Again? Oh, no. Okay. Crystal mail. Okay, that could be pretty good. But that is pretty good. The crystal mills are always amazing. <laughs> Just give it up already, guys. Knock him down as much as you like. Diamante will keep going and going and going and going and... <clears throat> Hear me, Diamante! Lady Anna has new orders for you! Remember what you did to the moon? Good. Now try it again. With Lux and Dark! Let the cleansing fires cover the world and burn for three days and three nights! When they stop, not a single soul, man, woman, or child shall remain! The extinction will be complete! I never thought it would come to this. Denny? And yet, it is a fitting conclusion. Yes, it is time I atone for my sins. You, give me the compass. Denny, what are you thinking? I shall go someplace far, far away, and take this field with me. To a future so distant it will never come. To the edge of time itself. But, but Denny, if you do that... My time has come and gone, you. You and your friends, you are the future. Live, you. Live and lead Luxendark to a proud future. I trust you. My sacrifice will not be in vain. <laughs> now stand back and watch. This is my coup de gravy. Do you hear me, fiend? You, who would destroy the home of those I love. I deny you once and for all! Denny! No! Chapter 6. Bravely second. Dang, my boy Denny really did it. What a mad lad. Ding. Back in Caldisla, time to wake up. The sun is out. In what world? Come now. That's it. Huh. <sighs> you must be exhausted. Rest a while longer if you like. This ain't right. Uh, wh where am I? Th this is. Magnolia, Idia, sir, everyone's here, and you're all okay? We're alive, at least. All I remember is the light, a tremendous light and noise. Wait, where's Denny? Uh. <laughs> a transmission from the moon? This is Magnolia. Appleberry, do you read me? Magnolia, I've been trying to reach you for ages. What in the world happened down there? The ball we were tracking in Luxendark. 
The signature has disappeared. We... We did it. We defeated Diamante. Finally, our people are avenged. You did it. You truly did it, Magnolia. You are the pride of Fort Loon, the savior of our people. As soon as your ship is repaired, return to us at once. At long last, we will rebuild our home. Yes, of course. Uh. <laughs> hmm, is something the matter, Magnolia? Smirian, it's nothing. I will return as soon as I can, sir. Just allow me a little more time to... Uh, rest. Of course. You've more than earned it. Rest well. We will be waiting for you. Magnolia. Mes amis, I want to thank you all so much. For everything. We're the ones who should be thanking you. Agnes, you and I, even Luxendark itself wouldn't be here today if not for you. You're really going back? We'll miss you. But you can come back and visit, right? Of course. I... I think... Ah, so you're all finally awake. Master Carl, it really is you! Why, if it isn't, tis. What a pleasant surprise. How many years has it been? Have you been keeping yourself well? You look so different from what I remember. Don't forget me! Ah, and sweet little Idia. When did you grow into such a fine young woman? So, I take it you all know one another. It's a long story, but this is where we all first met. Me and Agnes and Idia and... Uh... Master Carl runs the best inn in Caldisla. We always counted on him when we... When we... Um, when you... Oh, that reminds me. The king is waiting for you at the castle. I promised I'd send you there as soon as you awoke. The king... Oh, uh, of course. Uh, we'll go at once. Wow, sir, you even know the king. You never fail to impress. I guess so. Well, come on. We can't keep royalty waiting. Okay, but we are going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as opposed to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.